Women of Reddit. Guys do stupid things to impress you. What's something stupid you did to impress a guy? I had a huge crush on this skater boy 8th grader when I was in 6th grade. I drew an awesome, actually horrible, picture of him and gave it to him during lunch, when he was surrounded by his friends. I was so proud and they immediately laughed. I was so incredibly embarrassed. But my crush took it like a champ and decided this picture was now our adopted son and we would share custody of him. He put the picture on a clipboard and we'd pass him back and forth in the halls. I think it reached a point where his friends were jealous they didn't have adopted clipboards with horribly drawn photos of themselves on it. He was a great guy. This is absolutely adorable. Heard he liked The Walking Dead. So I binge watched all 5 seasons out at that time within a week or two. Just in case he'd ever mention it in conversation. He never did. I don't even like zombies. He had made comments about liking women in heels. So I bought a pair of ridiculously high heels. I went to the game shop he hung out at in my heels. A short skirt. And a tank top. Basically. I looked like a prostitute. He greatly enjoyed the show. And asked me to go out with him that night. So my stupidity was successful. At least. As I was leaving the game shop to go back to my car, I stepped into a gravel patch and lost my balance. I slid across the concrete and absolutely tore the crap out of my legs. I wound up having to make a trip to urgent care to have the gravel removed from my legs and get a few stitches in my knee. Did he see though? I invited my middle school crush over to watch anime, heated up a neck warmer bean bag in the microwave to make it extra warm and put it on him, burning his neck. Senpei, have this heated rag. Learned how to play Magic the Gathering and World of Warcraft. Wasn't so stupid in the end because I gained two new hobbies. In a way you could say he cost you hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars. After I dyed my hair red he casually mentioned that he liked redheads. We had chatted for a couple of months and we finally got the chance to go on a date. I was so anxious to impress him that I grabbed a red hair color enhancement shampoo sample I had that was labeled for salon use only and washed my hair with it ignoring the label as I thought it was more of a marketing thing. It all seemed cool until I started to blow dry it. My guess it's that it had an ingredient that reacted to heat so my whole scalp felt like it was on fire. My hair was not affected but the actual skin dried off in seconds with chunks of it peeling off. Think of a sunburn. It itched like heck and it looked like I had the worst case of dandruff ever. I washed it again with cold water and my regular shampoo and it still burned after. Now the kicker. It was a day date on a mall that consists of tiny buildings and a lot of open space and being outdoors and when I got to the place it was sunny AF. We did a lot of walking and my scalp was still itching to the point on which I leaned on a wall and started moving my head to scratch it. Finally we got into a cafe and stayed there until sundown. Still without me telling him about my small issue. I lost it at the part when you used a building to scratch your scalp. I would buy him cookies and brownies every day for lunch. He was also desperate to have a phone so I pay him 50 cents to text for me on my Krauser. I also gave him a slice of my pizza even though I wanted it. When it came time to tell him my feelings, I wore my cutest outfits and did my hair real cute for a week straight. Then I said I liked him and he said okay. 13 year old me learned you can't buy boys with brownies. That was probably the wrong boy. In high school, I drew a picture of Batman being chained in a dungeon with Catwoman wrapped around his leg. I gave it to this guy I liked. He never liked me back. Upvote for the sad face with the mole. Pretended I was artistic when we first met because he was his artsy. I'm actually really boring and hate applying myself so when he gets me art supplies being sweet I still have to pretend to be excited two years later. Thanks, babe. But I suck horribly. I'm actually really boring and hate applying myself. Your honesty is refreshing and hilarious. I randomly bought a gift. Can't remember what. For a guy I had a huge crush on back in high school. It wasn't until later that I realized how humiliating it was. He barely knew who I was and was definitely not interested in me. And to be honest I barely knew him, either. We hung out in a group a couple of times and for whatever crazy reason I decided I loved him. He was cute, popular and liked by a lot of girls, and I was nowhere in that league. Teenage crushes were the worst. A guy did something similar. Bought a Christmas present. 
A weird joke gif I thought he'd find funny. For a guy I liked in high school. I was friendly with him but not holiday gift exchange friendly. Shortly afterward I decided to be straightforward and tell him I liked him and he just looked uncomfortable and changed the subject. Teenage crushes are 100% the worst. Oh my god. I still cringe thinking about this. I was a cheerleader in 8th grade. But I was a very shy, socially awkward 13 year old and was not used to having the interest of boys, much less one that I'd had a crush on for a while. He was best friends with my cousin. And one day the boy came over with his dad for some random reason. I was dying to impress him since we went to different schools, and I thought he'd love the fact that I was a cheerleader. So I went and put my cheer uniform on, got my boombox with my cheer CD, and put on an entire show in my front yard in front of him, and his dad, and my family. I still want to slap myself when I think about it, although it must not have deterred him because we dated for a while once we got into high school and ended on good terms. I even took his engagement and wedding photos a few years ago. Oh my god, I used to do the same kind of thing but with routines I had learned in my ballet jazz Irish step dance classes. You ended up having a lot more luck than I did with this tactic. I was interested in a guy so I created a fake podcast to have an excuse to invite him over and talk to him for a few hours. Ro. Oh man okay so I was out with this guy at Disney and he had gotten a small cup of jalapenos with his hot dog. He didn't finish them all so I bet him I could eat the rest of the cup. No problem. His response? Why? To impress you. That's not going to impress me, but in my mind I somehow managed to convince myself that he was bluffing and if I did it, he would totally be impressed. This guy was worth impressing and I wanted to show off, why? So I take the cup, knock it back with a Hail Mary and start to eat them. I don't like spicy foods, I actively avoid them. So 10 seconds into chewing, my mouth is on fire and my eyes are watering, face is turning red the whole bit. But this is totally going to impress him. It did. It impressed him how stupid I was. He told me so. I nearly threw up twice and he laughed at me the entire time. Also this guy was my boyfriend so I nearly threw up trying to impress a dumbass I was already in a relationship with. He makes me stupid. This. This is the one that made me laugh. Thank you kindly. So as a tomboy that hated the idea of being too girly, especially in front of a guy I liked, I would be super aggressive and overly one of the guy types of people. Like in middle school I kicked the kid I had a crush on in the shins whenever he annoyed me. In high school it was playing very physically in gym and not the cute kind. It's cringy thinking about it but it did get me a boyfriend who was considered the most aggressive guy in the school. Like attracts like I guess. Username checks out. I pretended to like football. We were watching a game at the bar and some stuff happened during the game that I guess was good and the guy looked at me and was like yes. Can you believe it and all I was able to manage to say was go sports. ETA. Thanks for all the comments and upvotes. The story has a kind of funny ending. Although I didn't end up with the guy, I did end up with his kid. My son is 21 now and graduating college in May. He's a huge sports fan. A few months ago he was going to a hockey game and was like I'm not staying for the whole game so I said are you leaving at half time and he said there's no half time in hockey. Some things never change. Key to sports. Something good happened. Heck yeah. T hats why I love this team. Something bad happened. I can't believe it. These terrible refs aren't helping either. I was a chubby kid and I had a crush on the older boy, 5th grade, OMG, that my mom babysat at our house. He was athletic, like wow. We had woods behind our house and one day he hopped over the fence. I decided to impress him by hopping over too, except I was, ahem, fat and not good at athletic feats of any kind, so I didn't make it over the fence. In fact I could only get to the top of the fence, where the waistband of my pants got stuck. And so I started slowly falling backwards until I just hung there, suspended by my sweatpants, upside down on the fence. Oh Colin you'll never be mine. I know almost nothing about cars, especially performance ones. So when I first met my boyfriend and I found out he was into cars, I tried to talk to him about it. I made a dang fool of myself trying to use terms I thought were correct. Luckily it worked out in the end and we're together now.
The real twist is that he was trying to say he really liked the Pixar Cars trilogy. He was cycling the entire Tour de France route on his own, which sure as heck impressed me. So I decided to impress him by turning up in Paris on his last day to meet him. He'd been away for 5 weeks, which was half of the time since we started dating. I arrived in the city at about 1am and just had time to get to a hotel, power nap, shower and put on some makeup before going to hang around the champs Elysees at 4am in the hope of spotting him. Bottle of personalized champagne in hand. By this point I'd been walking several miles in inappropriately high heels and my feet were bleeding and covered in blisters. The hotel was the cheapest, scummiest place I could find because I only had a couple of hours to stay there, and it stank to high heaven. I hadn't really slept at all and I was completely unfamiliar with Paris. Fortunately I did manage to spot him and he me. We've now been married 4 years so that's nice. I'm glad it was worth it in the end after all that. I hope the marriage is going well. Many moons ago there was a very cute boy, that's what we used to call them. He wasn't literally a boy, working at the university bookstore when I went to get my books for my first year. He mentioned that he was a classics major and I blurted out me too and then had to buy the book for class 101 or whatever it was since he was walking me around the store helping me find the books I needed. TL. Doctor I bought a full price university textbook I didn't even need. Given the price of textbooks this is impressive. Punched him in the face. Can't be unimpressed if he's unconscious. The guy I wanted to impress was the super quiet, not social type. We had one common interest. He liked watching soccer and I liked playing and sometimes watched. I learned everything I could about all the Mexican teams and brushed up on La Liga and Premier League. I then chose opposing views each time he talked about soccer. He likes Chivas. I like America. He's going on about Barcelona's superior players. I talk about how awesome and kind Ronaldo is. He says Manchester United is the best dang football club in all the land. I say Arsenal is. I completely agreed with all of his opinions. So it was the most ridiculous thing I have ever done. I was sure he hated me. He would see me and immediately get angry. He would throw fits about it. He would talk crap about me in Spanish. He didn't know that I, the little white girl could understand him. He would avoid me at all costs. He definitively let me know how much he hated me one day. I laughed. He was confused. I cringed at how bad I fricked up. Later he sees me at a game. I'm wearing my manny jersey. He blows a gasket. I laugh my butt off. We got married two years ago and just had our son whom we named after our favorite player. The long con. Deep down she is still loyal to Ronaldo. She just waiting 15 years to throw the punchline. Guy liked anime. I didn't know anything about anime or what anime he liked. Went on Hante on Pornhub and sent him a picture of me watching anime because I thought that would pass. He asked me why I was watching Hante and gave me a list of reasons how he knew it wasn't anime like the quality. And the orange bar at the bottom of the screen etc. It ended up working out in the end. I, what, how, how did you get to Pornhub in your search for anime? I'm a guy and a girl did the following to impress me. She talked up how much weed she smokes, how good she was at hitting a bong. So we packed her a really big hit. She burned it all. The smoke in the bong was so dense it was almost yellow. She pulled the slide and attempted to clear it. Halfway through the inhale she started coughing. A brutal painful hacking with smoke still coming out. She puked in the bong, on my pants, all over herself. Even the freaking cat had puke on him. Crying and coughing she curled up into a fetal position on the couch and passed out cold for several hours. I had to clean it up, was not impressed. That is amazing. Thank you for this. At a party, chugged several beers waiting for him to notice that I'm really good at chugging. Chugged several more in a contest against him and others while he watched. TBF. He did find it impressive. The drunken fool I made of myself, not so much. And yes, I did eventually upchuck the massive amount of carbonation. There was a relatively popular kid in high school that I didn't necessarily have a crush on, but thought he was funny and wanted to talk to him. One day in class he made an innocuous reference to a terrible, animated, MTV show. I happened to have seen the show so I asked him if that's what he was quoting, when he said he was. I proceeded to quote other lines from the show. 
and then watch it every Thursday night the whole semester, and then we would both quote it back on Friday mornings in class. Of course this made me think we were soulmates and developed a big crush on him that went a grand total of nowhere. I have no idea if he knew I had a crush, but I do know he didn't care. He had a GF and I don't think I was on his radar in a romantic way. I tried to watch that show years later and, as aforementioned, it is terrible. There was one unexpected outcome though. The show used the word douche a whole lot. So this guy and I started calling each other douche. And then, I guess, started calling other people douche. And then I would hear other people at school saying douche like all the time. It was as common to hear douche in the hall as it was to hear dude. This all culminated for me when, towards the end of the school year, one of my classmates called someone a douche and in response the kid says geez what is that like the senior word or something? So I had that going for me. TLDR. I quoted lines from a bad cartoon to impress my crush. Didn't impress my crush, but got the kids at my school using the word douche an obscene amount. I grew up Catholic but am now an atheist. I started dating a guy from work with whom I shared a very strong sexual attraction and amazing sex. But neither one of us ever brought up religion early on, and I asked him to go see the Ricky Gervais movie The Invention of Lying, which is definitely not religion friendly. After the movie he remarked it was kind of offensive to him because he has strong catholic beliefs and values. I was surprised and mumbled, oh, I, really? Over the next two months I never let on to my beliefs or lack thereof, and kind of played along mostly because of the sexual chemistry. I even agreed to attend Easter Mass with him, although we didn't end up going. Ironically, in the end I ended up breaking up with him after I learned he was dating another co-worker. Catholic beliefs and values, indeed. I started pretending I liked watching gamers play video games on YouTube. Like Dashi, I don't play video games. Joke was on me. I totally love them now, and still don't even play video games. I was in elementary school at the time and was trying to impress my cute middle school age neighbor. I raced my big wheel down the driveway and pulled the handbrake to get it to spin out. It spun out alright. Unfortunately it flipped over on its side in the middle of the spin and I slid down the asphalt driveway on my leg arm. It was summertime and I was wearing shorts and a tank top. I ended up with the worst case of road rash I've ever had. Thankfully I managed to make it in the house before bursting into tears. Mum got me all cleaned up and when I got back outside the cute neighbor boy was gone. I'm sure he found some girly girl who was collecting flowers to talk to. Well I think you're cool. I was much younger and hobby hopping. I noticed an influx of men rock climbing so I decided to learn how to rock climb. I even went as far as taking an outdoor climbing class. Never really baited a guy, but I now have the utmost respect for people who lead free climb boulder. Otherwise, totally not built for it and I'm better off Olympic weightlifting. Hey, I'm a guy who boulders. I have a boyfriend though so this may not work out. Acted like a stuck up bee any time he paid attention to me so that he thought I was a badass. He just thinks I hate his guts now, and won't even try to talk to me anymore. Guy and I started talking briefly at the gym, usually when I leave yoga class. One time we synced our workout routine so he could come in with me. I could feel myself getting nervous, but I knew I could do this. I'm flexible, I'm nimble, my goodness, I was born for this moment. In one of the poses I just ripped a big one. Farted so loud. I actually heard someone scream. I started laughing, sweating, getting red, tearing up, turning my head every 5 seconds to look at him until I knew he didn't want to look at me. Probably ever again. For some reason. Like a champ. I stuck through and finished the class. We did not talk afterward. We have not talked since that moment. Looking back, I don't think it was the fart. It was how insane I was when it happened. It looks like I straight up lost it because I did. I actually don't go to that gym anymore. Case in point. Safe to say, I personally would have freaking lol'd and probably would have farted to take the aggro off of you. Third grade. I was running for class president against my crush. I voted for him instead of myself and lost by one vote. Does it count if we were already in a relationship? 5 months ish? I really wanted to do it and see his face, 
I showed up unexpectedly at my BF's door in another country on the last days of my visa. He thought next time he'd see me would be in a few months. I teamed up with his brother who knew I was coming. He made fake plans with my BF for the weekend so that he wouldn't go anywhere, and I booked a romantic suite for us. It was stupid for many reasons. Kinda risky to go through border controls without him knowing. I got on the plane after a full working day, really tired, had to deal with a really creepy taxi driver late at night. The whole thing cost me a stupid amount of money just to be with him for two days. I made up a ridiculous, probably suspicious, story why I'm not at home and my phone is off on a Friday night. When he opened the door, his face was, well, really scared, as if he saw a ghost. We hugged, he uttered one word how and locked my suitcase outside. He then said it's the best thing someone has ever done for him. Worth it. That's really sweet, even if it was risky. Glad it turned out okay in the end. Tried to ignore him because I liked him so much. He even used to flirt a lot my stupid ass didn't even like looking because I would get nervous. Still like him a couple years later. An opportunity missed. Hit him up. In my experience guys still like the ones that got away. When I was around 12, I had this massive crush on a guy who was 16. I spent the whole year trying to get him to notice me, in hopes he would fall in love with me and we would get married and run off into the sunset yada yada yada. Anyway, some of stupid attempts to get him to notice me. 1. Waiting until he walked past me and for some reason pretending to do something cool in front of my friends to get him to look. So I decided to gargle the alphabet with my water. He for sure looked at me. When he did, I spat the water at him in shock and started choking. 2. He once helped someone up off the floor who fell over. So I spent the year fake falling in front of him in hopes he would help me, but he always just walked quickly away. 3. He was in a band, so I went to a gig he played. I didn't like the music at all and stood next to the speaker, which hurt my ears a lot. I saw him on the way home and he stopped and looked at me, so I blurted out that was loud and ran off. I was a dumb 12 year old. My crush needed a timid EV because he was into IVs so I bred no joke maybe hundreds of EVs to get him one. Took days. I finally did it. All I got was a thanks. He doesn't deserve you. Perfect IV with the nature you want is pain. It took forever for me to get my evolution team together. Let him mooch off of me for around 18 months, and literally went so far into debt that I started selling videos of myself taking a crap and packages of my crap and other fetish related items over the internet. He moved out yesterday. I keep trying to cry, but all I feel is freedom. Jesus that must have been a ride. I waved a toy gun out his car window to make him laugh. We got pulled over by 6 cop cars. Cops were holding assault rifles pointed at us. We got arrested and had to go to court several times. It worked, though, because after it all he said I've always wanted to get arrested and then we hung out at Chuck E. Cheese for a few hours and dated for 4 years. I once played airsoft in my backyard and someone called the cops on us. Nothing scares the crap out of you more than a police officer walking out of the woods with an actual shotgun pointed at you. So high school me had a crush on my twin brother's friend, and one afternoon said crush comes over so the two can go ride three wheelers and hang out. Of course I tagged along. So at one point my brother got bored with riding the trikes and left me and my crush to race up and down the road. For some reason that I'll never understand, my brother trusted me with a machine that didn't have brakes. So here I am racing this cute guy, down the road, trying to catch up to him so going full speed, Conveniently forgetting this entire time I didn't have brakes. And then I hit a corner. All I remember is suddenly flying through the air when after my last second desperate attempts to throw my foot into the brakes didn't work and realizing that I was on the ground. Dazed. I was inches from running full on into a tree. Without a helmet. My brother saw the entire thing and came running out of the house. And after my crush made sure I was okay. Which took a couple minutes of reassurance. Stated how cool that was so of course I played it off as no biggie, and the whole thing was super fun. It was not. It was scary. And when you have two stupid HS boys worried about your safety, you can only imagine how dangerous the situation was and how badly it could have ended. For example my twin made napalm without blinking an eye. I thought I was pretty cool until I walked into the house with sticks in my hair. 
you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.